Hey guys, STS Cubing here. Today, I'm going to teach you how to solve the Pyraminx. Okay, so to start off, let's just scramble this. Okay, so now that we have it scrambled, we can get on to the solving. <coughs> so, first things first, what you want to do is you want to look for something like this. You see this like block right here? This is incorrect, but you want to look at this piece right here. See, you want to match up these three. They're the same color. <coughs> so as you can see, we have two reds here. So we have to find the third red piece. And that should be somewhere here, right there. So there's two reds there, and then one red up here. Now what we have to do is, you want, if you have something like this, right, where you have two red pieces and then one's up here, you want to move it so that it's right above the other two. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, next, so basically how you do that is you move that over. Now as you can see, it's right above. And then what you do from there to get these to get these two pieces into these two slots is you would move this one up and then you move this one up. And there you go. But uh, let's say that you had, um, give me a sec, this, where there's one here, one here, and one over here. Then, you do the same thing, but first, you'd pair up two of them. So, let's just go with this one. This one, I think you might be able to tell what you have to do right now. What you have to do is, you have to, like, uh, move this one here. And how do we move it here before? By turning it. So there you go. Now you have it. And now you gotta find the other one here. And you gotta uh, get into place. And you do that, once again, by turning it. There. Basically, this first step is pretty much intuitive, but like, you could maybe use a couple of algorithms. But that's just what I do. Okay, now, next step. Well, it's not really a step, but what I do next, after I get this, which I like to call the radioactive symbol, uh, after I get that, then what I do is I just turn the tips until each block, until I each have a matching block. So, red, we need to make this red, there. This one has to be red, and then this one has to be red. So now those three blocks are matched, and then you just want to match up this last block up here, there. So now, all of these blocks are matched. Okay, so that was that. Now, what you want to do is we want to get this this layer right here. So you want this to be red, 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 like it like it is. Then you want this to be red, red, red. And you want this to be yellow, green, and blue. I mean, this is already blue, but it's not blue and red, so. I'm going to teach you how to insert a red piece in this case. So what you do is let's find a red piece that's on this side, that's not on the red side, right? So for example, this green and red piece here. What you want to do is you want to move it so it matches up, so that green matches with green in this case. Or if we had this one, so that yellow matches with yellow, okay? So you'd move this space until it matches, which it does, right? You see, green. And then you can see we have the red here. What you do is what I like to call the hitchhiker. Um, well, this is was my this is what my friend taught me. He calls it the hitchhiker. And what you do is, so you have it here, right? The car comes up, the hitchhiker gets in, and the car goes away. There you have it, inserted. Next, let's try that again. Yellow and red. Here, no, no, no let's try it from the other side. It's the same exact thing, but just backwards. You don't, you don't want to move up this side that has the piece. Because you see it, we got blue and red, blue's matched up. So you want to move the other side, because that's where the car comes from. You don't want to run over the hitchhiker. So you move that piece up. Then you move the hitchhiker in the car. And then go back down. And as you can see, we've got that. And then we've got one less piece. So what you do is, once again, do, the, do that. The boom, boom, boom. But... Let's say that you've got this, where you need to switch this piece around, right? What you do 
is from any random piece on the top. You might not want to use a red piece, but any random piece on the top. But as you can see, both red pieces are done. But any piece on the top, right, you, you can just move in. So using the same method, just move into there, because then that puts this in one of these three slots. So then you can use the insert. So you go, car pulls up, hitchhiker gets in, and car goes away. And now we've got the red and yellow here. So we can do that. And as you can see on this side now, so you gotta go car pulls up, hit dragger gets in, pulls away. And that's that step. Okay. So now that we've got the layer done, right? Uh, now what we have to do is the last step. So what you have to do is there are four like different things that could happen. Note, this is not LBL. So I don't know every single algorithm for them, but I can show you what I would generally do if I get the algorithm that I don't know. So there's a couple of cases. I think there's like five or four, I'm not sure. But anyway, this case, as you can see, it's literally these pieces that need to be rotated. What you'd actually want to do is make it so that this whole block needs to be rotated. So you'd want to rotate it so that these pieces match up. So blue would go with blue. So, you know, right? So now, you just got it, so that the only thing that needs to be rotated is this block. And there are two versions of this. This is the first one, where you have to move the block um, counterclockwise. And if you want to do that, you're going to go to one of the sides, right, with the block in front, like this. And then you're going to do this. Up, side, down, side, up, side, down down side and then you'll have it solved and it works the same on the other side for example if we were to do it again that gets us the second case where it has to be rotated clockwise because as you can see green tilt goes to green blue goes to blue and yellow goes to yellow so what you do in this case is the same exact thing but the opposite you move this one up Basically, you move the side where you want to go up, and then you move the um, blocks the way you want to go. So, this side up, up, down, up, up, down, boom, boom. And that's that solved. And now, there's a couple more cases. The next, the next case that we're going to talk about is any other case, basically. So any case where you don't get that, where you just have to rotate the blocks. So in this case, as you can see, it's all like weird. This one needs to be switched with here. This one needs to come here. This one needs to be flipped around and come here. So, yeah, it's pretty weird. There's a bunch of other ways like this, but if you don't get the one where you go upside, downside, upside, downside, that's when uh, you do this. But all you have to do is, I know it's kind of slow, but this is what I would generally do. You would you would just build another block. So let's just say we're gonna do blue now. So we're gonna build this layer. So what you wanna do is once again hitchhiker yellow blue goes to yellow and blue. So up side down. Next we want green and blue to get to green and blue. So we go up side down, and then you could get this case where it's solved. Or you, once again, then you could get this, where you have to rotate it, and then you can just solve it. That's basically what you do if you get any other case. I would recommend learning LBL algorithms though, because they help a lot. Um, this I only know one of them though, and technically the upside downside are LBL algorithms, but this is like the only one other than that that I know, which is where you just have to flip these two. You have to switch this around and then you have to switch this around where you go boom 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 but you don't really need to learn that just yet but if you do you um look up an lbl tutorial but yeah that's my method really. this video helped you like and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time bye